Supreme Court made marriage equality a reality in all 50 states, but you wouldn't know it in at least one county in Texas. Yeah, that's because there's one county clerk there that says she won't issue licenses to same-sex couples. Ryan Nobles reports. This may be the epicenter in the fight over same-sex marriage. What do we want? Marriage equality! When do we want it? Now! Granbury, Texas, a small town roughly 65 miles southwest of Dallas, boasts the first town square in Texas. Welcome to God's country. The town may be the last to issue marriage licenses to same-sex couples. It's one man and one woman. That is how marriage should be. Jim Cato and Joe Stapleton have been together for 27 years and were prepared to get married on Monday. It was their first opportunity after the Supreme Court declared gay couples have a constitutional right to marry. They want their license to read Hood County, where they live and pay taxes. But so far, the county's clerk, Katie Lang, is holding up the process. We wanted to be the first people in Hood County to get married. We thought we would be married on Monday, but... Uh not going to happen. Lang initially said she would not issue the licenses because of her own religious objection. But then later in the week, she said she would allow other members in her office to do so. But couples like Jim and Joe have been told the proper paperwork has not arrived. But in similar small counties like San Saba, Texas, the logistical issues have been worked out and gay couples like Jonathan Means and Jason White successfully obtained a license while Jim and Joe continue to wait. When do, I, when do I come in your office? She said, I don't know. And everything was she didn't know. Lang's reluctance has sparked a bitter battle from both sides in this normally quiet town. Religious freedom supporters on one side of the street, gay rights activists on the other. One side defending Lang's right to object. We have a message for Katie Lang. You are not alone. Your community is here with you the other demanding she abide by the Supreme Court's order or quit. Get on board with equality or resign today! And as many Americans come together to celebrate the country's independence, a Texas-sized battle remains over an issue the highest court thought they'd settled. That was Ryan Noble's reporting, and just late yesterday, attorneys for Jim Caddo and Joe Stapleton said they are pushing ahead with a federal lawsuit, and they plan to file it on Monday.